Friday. This is your pastor with your weekly update. Uh, I've committed throughout this pandemic to keep you up to date, to com continue to communicate with you what's happening in our church and our community so that we can walk this out together. Uh, the whole element of we are one, that has not changed. Things have changed, but the truth has not changed. And that truth is we are still absolutely committed to covenant to uh, keep walking out these things out together and uh, doing our best to be our best during this time. Hey, a couple things I want to share with you. Number one, the Refresh Fast has been amazing. The devotional guide, the testimonies, the morning videos have just been incredible. And I'm so proud and glad that you've been walking this out. And uh, it, it's just been a great, great week. I know that this was an inspiration from the Lord and uh, we're seeing the benefits of it. Uh, people's faith is being revived. Their, their prayer time has become more regular. And uh, it's just been great to see you guys walking it out. If for some reason you missed out or you got off track, make sure you download the devotional guide um, rebirthchristian.org slash refresh. Even though we're coming to the tail end of the fast, uh, the content is timeless. Uh, and I'd even encourage you to go back and revisit it at a later date. This is how you build your library uh, for times of refreshing. So it's definitely something that you want to hold on to. Uh, Minister Val did a killer job today uh, on helping us to understand uh, the, the power of our seed and the power of being generous and selfless. Great job, Minister Val, uh, helping to revive our faith and keep us in, keep us fully convinced and keep us in faith about the power of our seed. Don't you ever underestimate the power of your tithe because God's grace is connected to us when we give. You know, that's why we've been getting, uh, again, these testimonies, man. I, I, I really, really want you to grasp that we are at a, at a season of grace and faithfulness. I'm praying for your fruitfulness. Uh, I have this in my notes that we are in a season of favor and acceleration, favor and acceleration that when what goes back to the scripture, the scripture says what the devil meant for bad, God will use for our good. And I want you to grasp in this moment that what many people thought is the destruction of a year, the disappointment of a year. No, we're going to use this to get the most out of this year. We are still moving forward. And I want you to be fully convinced again that this is a season of favor and acceleration. It's been declared so many times that everything attached to us wins. The whole Victory Series Sundays helping you win in life no matter what. This coming Sunday is going to be powerful, man. I'm going to inspire you and motivate you to move forward in life. You are not going to lose this year. And so, uh, again, and so much of that is attached to your giving. Don't ever underestimate the power of your tithe uh, and your offering and your seed. Not only does it release grace and favor over your life, it allows us to be good to other people. Uh, this is we, we, we're doing tomorrow as we're doing our Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving giveaway. It's going to be a great time. Not only are we going to be able to, because of your generosity, because of your support, we kick that thing up that we're not only giving our community Thanksgiving dinners, we load them up with diapers and wipes. We are going to be, it's going to be great. And it's because of what you do as God blesses you and you bless us, we can bless others. And so I'm excited about that. Thank you for your consistency and your commitment in your giving is how we've continued to, uh, to push forward the mission of our church. And it's because of you. You are the pivotal cog in how well your church goes. Uh, Want to share this with you. Very, very, very important. Um, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, November 29th, uh, to minimize the risk of exposure to our congregants, we uh, uh, have been praying and talked to our board. We have decided to have an online only service on November 29th. Uh, we came back to physical services October 18th and they've been going great. We've had no infections, no issues. Everybody has respected the rules and everybody stays safe. If you visited, uh, come to one of those services. We've had people amazed at how orderly, how structured, and uh, how much thought we put into the process. So kudos to all of you for serving. Everybody that's, that's helping this vision uh, come to pass and walk this out. You guys have been doing a great job. 
Um, but we want to be want to be very, very conscious and strategic. I told you we would be led by the spirit of God, led by the state and led by the statistics. And so uh, the, the, the Sunday, this is this is going to be post Thanksgiving and post Black Friday. When folks out there Thanksgiving and Friday and up, we want to make sure that we are creating a safe environment because there may be some elevated risk. We're going to have an online only service. Now, I tell you the truth. I don't lie to you. I don't play with you. I'm telling you. This is because we want to be very cautious and very strategic and plan things out well. So we're going to have an online only service on November 29th. Uh, we will not have congregants in the in the uh, in the building. So you won't be able to reserve tickets online for that service only. The next week we'll be back in the building. But again, as we take these extra precautions, uh, November 29th, we'll have an online only service. Now, it's still going to be just as impactful. Uh, but we want to be safe and it's going to be on all of our platforms as usual, our website, YouTube, Facebook. So uh, take the time, be in place. It's going to be a great service and I know you're going to be blessed. Uh, and so we, again, we've asked throughout this time to be patient and prayerful with us as we lead and learn through these times. You know, these are these are not normal times. Everything about our lives, our ministries, our finances, our relationships, uh, our go coming and going, all that has changed. But just because things have changed, the truth has not changed. The truth still is that by his stripes, we have been healed. The truth still is that he'll never leave us or forsake us. The truth still is that he's assembled us together to overcome. And so I know, and I want you to grasp this, your partnership, your church membership, your faith, your commitment, all these things matter so greatly. Things have changed, but the truth has not changed. And I want you to continue walking in this confidence that we are really one as a church. That this is not my church. It's our church. It's our ministry. It's our vision. You know, the Bible even tells us, he says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keeps the rules, keeps the law, operates within this vision, happy as he. You'll be blessed as you continue your commitment to this, this ministry, this, this vision. I know it. And I'm not standing off of it. You will be blessed. As you keep walking out your commitment to the church, help, help us help make sure that we continue to fulfill our mission to teach life to others. It's not it's not a big, it's an opportunity for us to continue walking in God's blessing. So I love you. I'm excited for you. Um, I'm committed. You've seen throughout these eight months how committed I am uh, as your pastor to to give you the best that we can give you to keep you uh, vibrant and growing in your faith, your family, your finances. I want to know, and I'm asking you, can I count on you? You've been able to count on me consistently. You've been able to count on our on our team consistently. You've been able to count on all everybody that's serving consistently. We want to know, can we count on you? Let's walk this out together. We are one. You're not a watcher. You're one. Let's continue walking out what Christ has called us to do because that's where the blessing lies. God bless you. Love you. Stay safe. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your holiday. Have some fun. But be safe. Get your turkey. Wear that mask and be conscious. Hey, God bless you. Love you so much. Have an amazing Friday. Let's get it done. We will be in the building this Sunday. Uh, Sunday, we're going at it. So uh, be online or in the building this Sunday so you can get you a double dose to uh, lash a little bit. God bless you. Love you. See you soon. Bye.